Hi, I am Mandy of Mad Cow Mandy Designs, and I have a quick and easy tutorial for you today on how to spice up your self-striping sock knitting. So I am working with self-striping yarn from Pretty Twisted Yarns, and as you can see, I have already started on a slip stitch color change. So this is the front of my sock, and I've already worked the front side. But I have a color change coming, so I wanted to hop on here and share that with you. This is the back of the cuff of my leg, and I'm just going to start knitting vanilla like I normally would. Okay, I have my first orange stitch. It's a little bit of black in it, but we're gonna go ahead and count that as orange. From here, I am going to slip one purlwise and knit one. Slip one purlwise, knit one, slip one, knit one. And we're going to just keep going like that all the way around. I just ended with an orange knit stitch which lets me know that on the front side, I will slip this first stitch to stay in pattern. And you don't wanna to pull too tight, but just enough so that it pull, pulls together and you don't end up with a laddering between your needles. Again, because I ended with an orange, the first one on this side is going to be a slip stitch. This right here, a little hard to see because it is half black and half orange. This is the first orange stitch that we had made, and I am going to knit that one, which means that this was the first black stitch that we slipped, and I'm now going to knit from here. So, fun part about this pattern is you don't have to count rows or anything like that. Just when you get to your color change in the yarn, you start no matter where you are in the round. And it's just that easy. So let's take a look at the inside. As you can see where stitches have been slipped, what I wanted to point out is that it's not a real thick texture. It ends up being very smooth. So if you wanted to do this on the bottom of a foot, you could. I tend not to because I like the aesthetic of having straight lines under my foot while having this pretty slip stitch pattern on the top of my foot. But 
If you like a pattern going all the way around and under your foot, this is a perfect one to be walking on because it's nice and smooth. I hope that tutorial helped y'all, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye!